always love the countdown. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is another actor success story. I'm Christine Horn, professional actress and life and career coach for actors just like you. Today, I am here with my lovely client, uh -huh. Sheena Lee Foss. No, it's not Lee Foss. That's like, you know, Tamar Braxton. She always, at, always adds the, the Vincent D. Herbert. So right. Sheena Foss, <laughs> welcome. Thank you for being on my live tonight. Thank you for having me. Yes, Sheena, you are, you're based in South Carolina, right? Yes, that's okay. right. Which is important for people to know, because uh, a lot of times I get a lot of emails and people saying, "Can I do this? Can I become an actor? I live in Bumble, right. Bumble Town over here. I live in. Uh, I was about to curse. I sorry. <laughs> <laughs> or I live in this small town or this big city, and I just love that um, we've been working together. How it's been? Gosh. Since August of last year, it seems longer, but it's only yeah, it does, it does feel longer. Well, no, before August, because I got to meet you in person at my Hollywood Bound Actors Live event in yeah. August. So it was a little before that. But um, as you guys hop on, make sure you say hello if you're watching on Crowdcast. Today, um, internet, the face, face, the Facebook, I sound like an old lady. The <laughs> Facebook and the Instagram are shut down, honey. They are not working. Hey, Jasmine, can you see the comments? I can. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Hey, Jazz, you get some love up in here. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there, the way this works, that's why I'm so grateful. I was doing this on Crowdcast because I multi-stream. And when I was going live earlier today, for any of you who've been watching the self-tape mastery five part course that I've been teaching, part three did happen. <laughs> it just didn't happen on Facebook. So you can catch the replay here. If you go to my page, just my, my home page here on Crowdcast and also YouTube, but I've started doing these actor success stories because I've worked with hundreds of actors and there are some that I get to work really hands, hands on with. And Sheena is one of those people. If you missed the, I did an interview a couple of days ago with Naza Usher, who's another lovely young lady who I've been working with for quite some time. But the reason why I'm, um, you know, we're, we're dead in the thick of me launching my new inner circle as part of the Booking Magnet Academy. And even for people who are not doing that with me, I think it's important for people just to hear other stories from other actors who who can mirror what they're experiencing. And so I love that you're in South Carolina. So for anybody who's like, but I don't live in New York or LA and like you can still do this. So Sheena, I would love for you to just introduce yourself and where you did a program that is no longer exists for me, but it was called Star Power Elite. It was 12 weeks we worked together um, and you're moving on with me to the inner circle. But before you came, came to me for Star Power Elite, where were you in terms of your acting career? Did you have an acting career? Like what was that story for everybody watching? Yeah, so hey everybody again, I'm Sheena Falls. Um, much like NASA, I had a BA in theater. I had really started pursuing it um, my, high, my senior year in high school. I always wanted to do it though, ever since I was a child. Um, I was really, really shy though. And so it took me a little bit of time to really, to get out there and actually pursue it. Um, but once I did, I kind of went full throttle. But the last few years, it had been a lot of, of theater, which I love. I was doing a lot of original work, um, community theater. I had an agent, I wasn't signed. He was kind of you know, doing freelance work for me. So I would get a few commercials here and there, but I always, you know, always wanted to do film and television. That was always the goal. But looking back at it now, I really don't think I even had a, an idea of how that would look. I didn't know how it was gonna come to me. So I was just trying to do what I knew and nothing was coming out of it, of course. Which, because... was, which was what? Which was what? Because I get that a lot from people. Like, I'm doing as right. much as I can, Christine. I'm like, what you doing? They like, I right. got pictures, right. I got a website. <laughs> so like I had to take in so many headshots, and now I know because they weren't really branded, I was just taking pretty whatever cute. you want to call it, cute pictures, right. maybe, right? And I hadn't I hadn't I didn't really have an agent because I wasn't signed, but 
every time something would come up, you know, he would submit me if it worked for me. But again, I'm in, you know, a very small town. So there's not a lot that actually takes here. So opportunities were few. Mm -hmm. So I just really became submerged in um, just writing my own work. And it was, you know, theatrical stage plays, which was good. And it kind of developed that writing muscle, Mm -hmm. which came, which comes into play now. But I really... I wasn't seeing any growth because all in all, I really wasn't doing anything in the film and television vein. Um, So about, I think, June of last year, I ended up getting an amazing agent. And about that same time, um, I kind of reconnected with one of my friends, Nagi, who's also an amazing actor. Nagi, shout out to Nagi. Whenever he'll watch this, I'm sure he'll see it eventually. Yes. The Nagi. I, I'm, I'm indebted to him. And I say that because he really he came over here and he was really helping me kind of transition from the theatricality, which is the, you know, the, the largeness, you know, and while he was here, he said, you know what, there's somebody you need to meet. Um, we need to follow. And he gave me your name and I'll be completely transparent. You know, there's so many people on Facebook and so many people that are coaching and yada, yada, yada. I was like, okay, I'll follow her. But I'm thinking, whatever, I'm yeah. just going to do it and just see what happened. So I just started listening to all your videos. I mean, I, I really became a stalker and I quickly, <laughs> I, I really am. <laughs> but and just the honest to goodness truth, I, I recognized very quickly that you were, first of all, you were knowledgeable, but not only that, but you were authentic. And I said, there's something about this lady that I really have to latch on to, just the honest to goodness truth. And because I had just gotten an agent, I knew that I needed to work on some lighting stuff, some sound stuff. So um, I really wanted to get one-on-one with you because I felt like, even though I have been acting for so long, I really felt like I was kind of starting in this oh, new right. world. I yeah. didn't know So I said, I'm going to need somebody to really come in so that I'm not just kind of going through this blindlessly. So we did the Star Power Elite program, which was 12 weeks, the best investment I could have done. And I say that not only because to see the results that I've gotten from just watching the playbacks, but even my agent, now that I'm submitting my self tapes, they're not, they don't look bad. They're high quality. And so she always replies, you know, nice job. There's never an audition that I don't send. Not that I get the booking all the time, yeah. but she always is just, you know, sending compliments. And so I know that's because you set the standard here for me. And now that I'm submitting, it's 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 acceptable. Not only is it acceptable, yeah. but you know, it's on the standard that she's used to. So I know that she appreciates that. But honestly, I don't know if I would have had that same story had I not gotten into the program because I just would have been going off of what I knew. You know what yeah. I mean? So that was that was a huge huge shift for me. It really was. Yeah. You made a huge, I'm very proud of you too. I I mean, I feel like I have so many extended sisters and nieces and folks out here and nephews, but you did, you made a huge, I think back to your, for some of your first self tapes and not even really about the acting, but more so like just the technicality of it. That's, and for those of you who missed, like I said, episode, uh, part three today of self tape mastery because of Facebook being shut down, it's here on Crowdcast. You can watch the replay. And it's all about tech and lighting. And that was one of the first things we got on for you. You know, mm-hmm. iron the... Why is it wrinkled? <laughs> iron it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where's your makeup? Put some makeup on. Yes. Shame, 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 shame. I do it for everybody. I do it for everybody. I love it. Uh, what would you say? And I mean, we're, we're, we're joking, but we're also very serious. Um, what if you had to pick one element of just having that muscle worked? I think there's a lot of people who are watching. I know a lot of people watch silently, and that's fine. Jasmine said she stalked me too, so don't feel bad. (laughs) (laughs) The people who are you know who are watching silently, you know, what makes the difference between I'll just take a few things here, a few things here, and maybe I'll put together my puzzle versus having kind of a roadmap like how did how did that personally impact you i'm curious it's an, astro- it's an astronomical shift because it's you know acting in itself is not a spectator sport you're not going to learn but so much um by watching you really have to get in and get your feet dirty and that's the accountability that i had with you and i was able to you know get in the game and really play and then get feedback and so i knew how to you know, what adjustments I needed to make. So 
I feel like you, you're going to get the results of the work that you put in. And this is, you know, it's not a knock. It's not a dig to anybody because I get it. Um, you know, you're just trying to kind of see, you know, what's going on. How do I fit in this whole equation? Yeah. But just expect the results from the work that you put in. So if you're going to give a little, maybe don't expect this huge, you know, huge result. So yeah. I really think that it, it definitely behooves you to to give as much as you want to get because that's how this thing works. And it may not happen overnight. Like I'm still processing that. May now. Not, won't. Right. right. <laughs> you know, I'm still processing now, but I can say that the I have seen results. Like I've already made back the investment. If you know if that's what people are looking at, I've already kind of made that investment back already. So um, it's, it's a huge shift. Huge. I have to brag on Sheena a bit. And yes, she's continue, She's working with me in my inner circle moving forward. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, there's a green button here at the bottom. You can learn more about that new way to coach with me. But Sheena, this weekend, what is happening on Saturday? We were talking about it offline. Yeah, so I'm producing my first web series this weekend. So I'm really excited about that. When we first started talking about you doing this series, what hesitation came up and why? Because there was some. Oh, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Oh my I look, I'm still hesitating and I'm like two days away from this thing, okay? <laughs> but um Because you know, the people out here who are like, I'm really big on content creation. You know what I mean? Even this right here is an example of that. And that's something I'm really pushing everybody who I'm working with to create something. Shout out to Jasmine, who's watching from Texas, who she's been doing her own videos, even little five minute Facebook videos or something like something to put yourself out there instead of twiddling your thumbs, being like, oh, what was me? I live in South Carolina. I guess I'll just wait. Right. So talk a bit more. Hey, Angie Mel, thank you for popping on. She says, congrats. Um, so talk a little bit about that, because that's something that's very relatable, even if people aren't saying it in the comments, what that inner work is to step out and now be putting something out there for yourself. You gave me a great piece of advice and it was so simple, but it was so like revolutionary. And that is, um, you know, don't worry about it being perfect. Just start. You know what I mean? And there's so many excuses that can come up with something like this from the technicality to not having the funds for it to I'm not a good writer. I mean, it can be countless, but I think you just have to utilize what you have at this moment. All you can do is all you can do. Yeah. So I just, I wrote it and it may not be an Oscar <laughs> award nominated or Emmy, you know, it may not go that far, but I feel at least proactive yeah. because I'm waiting. It, it, it's been really quiet lately. Um, and I don't know if it's just a, whatever. So I have to do something so that I'm not going crazy in my mind. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's, it's kept me really busy. It taught me, you know, the casting process more. It was just, it was a huge shift for me as an actor to see the other side of it from a production standpoint. Mm -hmm. And I'm also grateful for that reason. So you definitely just have to be proactive. I think that's the name of the game at the end of the day with all this. Cause if not, you'll lose your mind or you'll yeah. give up, you know, or you'll just become stuck. Yeah. We were talking yesterday in our, um, Jasmine says as your HBA sister, that means Hollywood bound actors. That's our wonderful community. She says, I'm so proud of you. Producing is hard. Um, oh, yeah, it's hard, it. but it's, it is fun. And it is, it is, it is definitely empowering. And, um, just when you're like the fact when you start putting out casting notices and you realize you're the one in charge, people are sending you submissions. And then there was one day we talked and you were like, oh, I need somebody who's a little different. All the submissions look like this. I need some more diversity. You know what I mean? So it's not like these people aren't great. I just need something else. And so it's really good to take in as the actor to remember that. And I was just talking about this last night on our Booking Magnet Academy Q&A uh, to some of the women in there that just because you're not getting something or just because you're not booking doesn't mean it's you. Right. <laughs> you the person or you the talent. It's just not the need at this time. So mm -hmm. I'm really proud of you for that. Um, and I'm excited to see the web series. Mm -hmm. um, I want you to talk a little bit about um, being in a market like South Carolina. I know offline you were making some plans to hopefully make some shifts for Again, I, you know, some of our audience are in there. We're scattered all over the place here. And I know this will be something that people are thinking about. How are you dealing with prepping to transition, whether it's to Atlanta or whether it's to LA? What are some of the mental 
things you're having to stay sharp on or stay steadfast in, in that mm-hmm. preparation? Um, gosh, everything. <laughs> it's, I won't lie. It feels very tough when, even though I'm, I'm technically only three and a half hours away from Atlanta, I feel a world away. You know what I mean? And that can really get in your head because it's like, I, I, I can't do, what else can I do? You know, until I, I relocate or whatever that case may be. So it's marketing. It's staying sharp on my acting. It's producing, having the web series to keep me sharp so that I'm not becoming rusty. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's all that. It's coaching with you. It's having community because particularly, particularly being an actor, it's such a different career aspiration yeah. and there are not many people that understand it. Like I love my parents. They love me, but I, I don't think they really get it. They don't get it yeah. at all. <laughs> <laughs> you no. Know? So I have to have somebody who, who I can go to, to, ex- to talk to them about it and not have them just listen, but also offer resolution, also offer advice and practicality and, if you don't have that, it's, it's a quick, like quicksand. You can just start to really sink. So okay. um, that's huge to kind of have that accountability and to also have just somebody in your corner that says, no, I get it and I understand it, but this is what you need to do to make sure you don't stay stuck. Right. So, yeah. And, you know, I also want to give you another shout out because you're kind of like a woman after my own heart. You have a book out. What's the name of your book that you have out? Uh, so it's called Why Am I Still Single? Why Am I Still Single? So you guys can check that out. And hey, Marky, thanks for tuning in. He says, keep grinding. Congratulations. Thanks, Marky. Um, so yeah, so you've got a book. And this is stuff you have before you even started. You already had a, what I what I love about you, you already kind of had a business mindset. So I think a big lesson for a lot of us as actors is to remember that this right here, this is we're, this is entrepreneurship right here. Mm-hmm. It doesn't feel like it all the time, but it is. I was talking last night in in the Booking Magnet Academy is what are we selling? Knowing what this product is. Like you said, it's not just pretty. I'm taking pretty pictures now. It's as we did that work. It's like, oh, yeah, I see. I want to look at your pictures and know, bam, you could do that. You could do that. Not just another pretty girl. There's tons of those out there. What is it about you? What is it about Sheena that's going to come through? And if you know, then it helps casting. It helps industry professionals know as well. So I think we're, we're getting much more clear with that, which I love. Um, I have one last circle. Well, one last circle. One last question for you. And it's not really a question. It's kind of, You've kind of talked on it. So if there was, if you had an actor friend who's right now is feeling discouraged about their career or just unclear about what they should be doing to move forward, what advice or encouragement would you give someone to just, what, what advice would you give to them? Um, this may sound very generic, you know, very okay, you know, but I've heard it a thousand times, but I would just say, don't give up and not only, you know, do not give up, but make sure that you're surrounded, have people that you can trust because that can be few, far in between. It really can. Like having somebody that really has your best interest at heart and, is, is knowledgeable again, because I was with the inner circle. I'm really excited about it. And, you know, it's an investment, but I, from my point of view, when I started thinking about, okay, how can I shift some stuff around, you know, it's six months of dedication and commitment, but I, I, I keep thinking like, what if I don't do this? What, what will I miss if I don't invest in myself? What will I give up? Like, I don't know, could a, my first co- co-star role come out of this? You just, you just never know. So take, do what you can. All you can do is what you can do. And if you don't have um, certain tools, just use what you can. There's a plenty of free content out there. You offer great free content. But if you're able to invest in yourself at a deeper level, then do that. Because what you don't want to do is allow time to pass and you're you're getting more and more frustrated, which isn't helping the art form. Because in this art form, you have to be so clear right. to even produce, you know, good, good, good content. So right. I would just say just invest in yourself at whatever, um, whatever, whatever area you can, whatever area you can. You yeah. Know? And I, I appreciate that. Cause truly there are tons of free resources. In addition to all the YouTube videos that I have right now, you got, there's at least 160 videos you could easily watch on YouTube. 
<laughs> have a binge day. And but also websites like SAG, um, the SAG Foundation. Um, I'll just put that in the comments. I can spell Jesus. Um, I don't know if it's dot or Marky says he's watched all 167 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. But SAG Foundation, if you, um, <laughs> Jasmine, SAG Foundation, that was for you, Jasmine. <laughs> I don't know if it's .org or .com, so just Google it. But I say SAG Foundation too because they have so many, uh, so many videos behind the scenes with casting directors, talkbacks with actors. Like they, I believe if this is what you want in some capacity, because let's be clear, Sheena, and I know you can relate to this. I was talking about this last night in our in our Q and A. I we have to stop thinking that there's an either or. I'm either working a nine to five, or I'm working a five to ten, or I'm a parent, or I'm an actor. Like that's just not realistic. I mean, I kept a day job on and off for 15 years in Atlanta for at a nonprofit working with people with disabilities. Like that became a passion. I was like, if I'm gonna have a day job, let me do something that I feel is like filling my spirit, right? But to be, I never stopped being an actor. Mm -hmm. I took, I did theater at night, you know, and I would, you know, wait tables at night so I could produce albums. I have two albums out on iTunes that I produced myself from my, from waiting tables. So there was never a, I have to choose. If I work this job, then that makes me less of an actor or less of an artist or creator. Mm -hmm. What I will say and keep saying to the roof of caves in <laughs> is don't cheat yourself. So yes, just we give eight, 10 hours to an employer. How much time are you giving to yourself? How much time are you giving to your career? So that means you got to wake up an hour early. I've been sharing with you guys. I've been waking up at six in the morning, six between six and 6.30 to finish my book. I'm not a 6 a.m. girl. Let's be, let's be clear. I'm more of a when Jesus wakes me kind of girl, like 8.39. <laughs> But I was like, by that time, my, I start having clients at 10 o'clock. I got to work out, auditions, and my day is gone until 9 p.m. And I was like, I'm cheating myself. So I had to literally make non-negotiable time. You can't get on my calendar before that time. Mm -hmm. So each of you listening, even, even those of you who will watch the replay later, I'm too late. I, I'm not in the group. I can't do it. I should have <laughs> done it earlier. I'm sorry, you guys. I know some of you are waiting for it. Um, but is that it's that important? Just like with your paycheck, those of you who get paychecks every two weeks or every week, how 10% is going maybe to your 401k or to um, whatever savings account or bills, how are you paying yourself? I think we have to that. So even if all you have is your lunch hour to create, to write, to brainstorm, then God, use that. Use that time when you're sitting in traffic on the way home or on the train to be reading a book or listening to an audible. I, I've gotten to the point now I'm in LA and I'm loving traffic. Like not really, but because I have my audible book, my audible on my phone. I mean, I just, it's like, Oh, I can't wait to get back in the car to listen to this. Right. So I just wanted to give that all to you. And Sheena, I want to thank you for, for being here. Thank you for letting me celebrate you. Thank you for letting me be a part of your journey and being very open and transparent. Um, I'm excited for everything you're doing. Um, again, you can find Sheena online. What are your handles? Um, so it's just Sheena Faust. My Instagram is Sheena Sets the Stage, and my Twitter is SF Sets the Stage. Put it all in there. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Any closing remarks you want to give? to your, this is, you know, your Hollywood bound actor community out here. Anything you want to say before we wrap? Yeah. I just want to send everybody some love. Like seriously, no matter where you are, no matter what state, just do what you can. If this is something that keeps you up at night, if this is something that you dream about, if this is something that is a healthy obsession to you, just right. do not allow anyone or anything to get in your way. Not even yourself. Mm. Give it your all and leave the results on the floor. I ain't got nothing else to say. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for showing Sheena love. Those of you who will watch the replay, you can still comment on the Crowdcast. The comments just keep coming as you guys come in. Have an amazing night, everyone. Tune in tomorrow to part four of Self-Tape Mastery.
Um, I'm not giving away what I'm teaching ahead of time. So they got, so you check in. If Facebook is still broken, we'll still be here on Crowdcast. So have a good night, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.